welcome to our first episode of the fuckery found on Facebook. And baby, this one, <laughs> it's a doozy. Let's all just imagine that we're in a Facebook group together. And in this group, a young lady makes a post about her man. How in love she is, how amazing he is to her children. And in the midst of their blissfulness, after two months, they move in together. Her children loving. She done enrolled her babies in school in that district. This man has gone so far as to put a braiding studio in his home for her. Now, what she failed to disclose is that she has a side dude. <laughs> I, this shit about to go so far downhill. Now, the side dude comes over to get his hair braided and somehow braiding the hair turned into giving him a little gulp gulp. If you know what I mean, if you don't, you ain't old enough to be here. Well, Mr. Goodbar found out that sis was giving happy endings <laughs> after braiding hair and has since threw her and her kids out his house. See, what Sugarfoot didn't know is that Mr. Goodbar had cameras all around his house and he saw her giving happy endings after braiding hair. See now, what fills this story with even more fuckery is the fact that Sugarfoot gave the sad dude money after she braided his hair and gave him the gook gook. So you essentially paid this man to... Okay, you know what? Y'all can't be this stupid. Y'all can't. But you are. Henceforth... <laughs> while the fuckery found on Facebook has been born. Be a blessing. I'm sure at this point, then when y'all see my face, y'all already know it's about to be some fuckery. Welcome to another episode of the fuckery found on Facebook. Let's just all imagine that we're in a Facebook group together. And in that group, there is a post that reads, Ladies, help. My husband of over 20 years just told me he knows my secret and he wants a divorce. He then goes on to say, here's the thing. I've kept several secrets from my husband and I don't know which one he's referring to. <laughs> like, <laughs> It gets worse. He then goes on to list the secrets that she's currently keeping from her husband. And this would not be Facebook fuckery if I didn't tell you what those secrets were. Secret number one. She has had an affair with not one, not two, not three, but four of her co-workers. Now, if that ain't enough, two of the co-workers are married and one of them is a woman. <laughs> like, let's just keep going. Secret number two. During the annual girls trip two years ago, she slept with the bartender and contracted an STI. Secret number three. She had an affair with her brother-in-law, got pregnant, and told her husband it was his. Now, Miss Drop It Low and Spread It Wide is in the group asking for advice because she doesn't know which secret her husband knows about and doesn't want to say anything for fear that she might reveal a secret that he doesn't know about. Ma'am, the only advice I have for you is to take your nephew, son, and to go on somewhere. We ain't got no time for it. Like, how, what, what possesses y'all to put this stuff on the internet? You know what? Keep putting it on the internet. 
as long as y'all put it on the internet, I got fuckery to talk about. 